Hi, and welcome to Public Speaking Online. Today we're going to be talking about informative speaking, including types and tips. Now, informative speaking is a little trickier than you might initially anticipate. And I don't mean to scare you in any way. So allow me to elaborate. One philosophy in the communication discipline is that all communication is inherently persuasive. For example, if I were to tell you that I'm feeling hungry, chances are you would not respond by saying, no, no you're not. Instead, you would probably take my word for it and assume that I was in fact feeling hungry. I mean, that's the normal thing to do. So in essence, I effectively persuaded you right? That I'm hungry because you believed me? Well, if all communication is inherently persuasive, such that we most often take people's word at face value, how then can we give an informative speech that avoids or that avoids the persuasive elements that we have to save for our next speech? One of the first things to remember to help us achieve this, is that informative speaking should function sort of like a classroom, a lecture whereby you share new information with your audience, stuff that they might not know. Your goal is to simply share the information in a creative, engaging, dynamic, meaningful way, but to avoid telling them what they should do or think about the topic presented. So let me give you an example. Perhaps you want to inform us about the latest updates available in your iPhone. And that's great, that would be a fine topic. Um, but what you wanna be careful to avoid is then telling the audience that they should go out and buy an iPhone now that they've heard your speech. By the way, get an Android. So now let's take a step back and talk a little bit more about informative speaking. Informative speaking is a style of speech that works well when your audience already knows a little something about the topic. In other words, they're familiar with it, but you as the speaker believe that there is more to share, say, and know, something that we need to hear. So your topic should be one where you have the insider insight, personal experience, training, or education with the topic so that you can share with us new information. Notice how I keep harping on that. Informative speeches therefore work really great with objects, for example, maybe virtual reality or beauty products, processes, like how to change a tire, cook a cultural dish, maybe even produce your own music online events, such as detailing um, what goes on at a women's march, or maybe even a cultural tradition, celebration, or holiday. Informative speeches also work well for concepts, such as organic or urban farming, clean eating, or global warming, and also to provide some type of tutorial to your audience. Take a moment now that you see these different speech types and fill in some examples that you would feel comfortable speaking on. Now, according to our readings, there are a few different types of informative speeches, in addition to those listed above, which were really more topics than types. Descriptive speeches, for example, are speeches where the speaker attempts to paint a picture with their words so the audience can truly experience it or come close to an experience on their own. Here's an example. Um, world curry. You could start by talking to us about what curry is and then continue your speech point by point by detailing a culinary tour for your audience around the globe. Another type of informative speech is a definition speech. And here, the speaker attempts to set forth meaning to a concept, theory, a philosophy, 
maybe even an issue that is somewhat unfamiliar to the audience. Again, it should be one that we've heard of before, but maybe don't have the whole picture in our mind. A really great example of this type of speech is the Mandela Effect, which is a wonderful topic for this speech. You can certainly do it, and if you don't know what it is, look it up. A third type of informative speech is the explanatory speech. Here is where the speaker focuses on events, customs, transformations, inventions, policies, outcomes, maybe even options. And the goal here is for the speaker to really explain in depth the ins and outs of any one of these things. It is very, very, it is very closely related to the descriptive speech as well, with only minor differences that are highlighted in our text. Oftentimes, students opt for the fourth type, which is a demo, demonstration, or a how-to speech. This is kind of the classic informative speech model, and it's exactly what it sounds like. A speaker attempts to demonstrate maybe a particular skill, procedure, or process, and shows the audience the steps involved to achieve a particular outcome. Examples might be teaching the audience how to bake cookies, um, again, changing a tire, maybe packing for a camping trip, or how to become an online influencer. Typically, the topic is broken down into an easy number of steps, maybe three, four, or five, and then demonstrated live, typically with presentation enhancers or visuals for the audience. Certainly one you can do. So give yourself some practice. Maybe do a little impromptu session at your house by yourself or with a friend, maybe a family member, a roommate. Here are several examples of real student speeches that have occurred in the past for the informative speech. You'll see on here that students have done speeches about how to reduce stress, how to juggle uh, time, for example, or studying online how to flirt, they've given the ins and outs of popular diet fads, or I even had a student give us a step-by-step -step demo speech on how to break dance. Maybe the benefits of an iPhone or the top three tourist destinations around the world. Again, the choice is yours. Pause and think, what do you know really well? What could you do? What could you show us, explain to us, describe or define? And there you have informative speaking.